Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. When we left off last time, we learned that we are not even Solid Snake. We're Raiden, or Jack is his name. Otacon's nowhere in sight. We're working with Colonel Campbell again. And we don't even have, like, Mei Ling or anybody. We've got Rosemary, who I think is, like, Jack's girlfriend or something. She keeps being cryptic about, do you know what tomorrow is? And when we're just like, no, could you just tell us? She's all... Now I want you to remember on your own, which is so obnoxious. But we need to save the president. He's over this way. But we're going to head back this way. Because I want to hit this node that we missed. All right. So I was hoping there'd be a way in here, but there's not this way. Okay, we've got to... Who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it. Well, a bungled bat. No, it won't let it's like, you can't do it right now. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just die and try that over again. That went poorly. Oh look at those moves. Okay. Jack, what's going on? Answer me! Well, that was a terrible Jack? start. Jack! Are. Okay. Okay, so there's that guy. Don't come back here. Okay, should be fine. Turn around, please. Oh, for goodness sake. There. At least it downloads fast. That's yeah, all. It's fine. There we go. So wait, I only get my radar when I mess around with that thing? Hmm. Alright, go back here. So this must go to a different strut. That's not what I wanted to... There we go. Okay, so this is B to rescue the president. And then what's this? F. Alright, alright. Hmm? Oops, shouldn't have done that. There's somebody there. Go inside. Oh, there. Okay, are we good? It doesn't look like there's anyone out there. Hey there, Konami Eyes. Or Konami Eyes. No, I think it's Konami Eyes, isn't it? Alright, are we good? Hope so. Yeah, I think we're alright. Hey, hey! We can't pick it up. Well, what's up here? I also want to know what's through that door. Ugh. Oh, hey! Well, I actually got some chaff grenades. It's kind of nice. Paying attention to my radar. <laughs> I'm just running all over the place. What's out here? Oh, good grief. Close it. There you go. I was so excited that I got a weapon. And basically, what actually really caught my attention was there was something on the ground that looked like maybe a crab. I was all distracted. Oh, a crab! Is that a crab in there? Yeah. Yeah, stealth is more important than crabs.
Alright, we'll just hang out here until everybody settles down a little bit. I guess Raiden's not so bad. I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of awesome being able to play a solid snake, because, you know... He's the master. He's got all the expertise. But there's something also kind of nice about being a, you know, a newbie, too. Like, Raiden's just starting out. He keeps talking about the VR mission, so I'm assuming this is his first, like, actual real mission. Alright, I still want to check out up there, but... Maybe I'll try to be... Actually, I want to see what's in this door, too. Oh, well, I'm not mind that. Okay, so anyhow. What do we got up here? Oh, look, look. That person's going to turn and see me. That's what happened last time. So let's just wait here a minute. See those little, that little white thing on it. How did you see me through there? Oh, whatever. Oh my gracious. Okay, we're just gonna continue on. I think. Oh, the ones in here aren't even worried. Oh, good deal. All right, what do I want to do about this? It should be super easy, actually. remember to lay out this thing. Okay. Yeah, I can just go like right here. He doesn't even know. Alright, moving on. Okay, so. Hop over, hang over a railing, he said. Which really I could have done over there as well. When I was up top and that guy kept spotting me. But, you know, whatever. This'll do. Alright, let's crawl around a whole bunch to start. Oh my gosh, don't spot me, guys. Dude, turn around. There's nothing interesting over here. He's so focused on this spot, like, right here. Come on. Turn around and go back. There you go. Get up. Get up and move. We bungled it. What's the... Oh, I gotta be by the... No, don't. Oh. Hmm? There's somebody there. No. Yes. Whoops. <laughs> okay, but I figured out the button. It's Run away! Bomber. Yeah, this isn't gonna be safe either. Back into a locker. No, inside the locker, Raiden. Inside. Turn around. Close it up. Oh, this guy does not really understand how lockers work. Okay, come on. There we go. I just need to... Oh. Whatever. Get in here. There. But after this, we'll go and we'll hang over the edge, save the president, hopefully catch a glimpse of Solid Snake. Maybe we can team up with him. Maybe we can switch over and play him instead of Raiden. Not the end of the world if we can't, but 
you know, if there's the possibility, if you get a choice, oh, do you want to be riding or do you want to be snake? Well, snake all the way. Alright, out you go. This is not where I meant to go. There we are. Now then. Alright, actually we're pretty okay. No, wait, go over. There. Alright, we got it. Look no, down. Okay. Hmm? Is there somebody there? No, you have nothing to hmm about. He's gonna catch me. Ah! <laughs> it's nobody, don't worry about it. <laughs> well, that didn't work out too well. Mm. Ominous. So tempting. We can't freaking use it. Oh, wow. Always doing like I do in a moment of panic. Shoot wildly and hope you manage to hit something. It's not a good tactic. Is this fella? Oh, no, no. Uh, you should have conserved your ammo. Just sit there and bathe in the spurting blood for a minute. Some kind of vampire, buddy? Who is this fella? On Alpha. Come in. Oh, this is bad news for the president. What's going on? Alpha, respond! Let's not just stand here riding, let's do something. Maybe he's never seen a dead body before.
Oh, that is a death gurgle we're hearing. He's a freaking vampire. I called it. Not a death gurgle at all. It's him sucking. Watch out, Ryden. The vampire. What are you? It's an interesting place to holster your knife. Five today. Or rather, six. Vamp. <laughs> We don't even have weapons! This, this is the problem, Raiden. Is Snake gonna come save us? Because we're too inept to save ourselves? Yeah! Well, that's not Snake, is it? I don't know. He was behind me. Weren't you watching? Oh. Watch out. <gasps> well, come on, dude. We got help. Don't aim at the guy who saved us. Come on, try to save him. Strange smell. Oh, it is Snake, isn't it? With his weird blood. You smell like... Are you? It has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Yeah, it's an excellent question. What, he danced out of the way of all our bullets? Are you all done cleaning up? Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. Something interesting? I'll tell you in person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. Be right there. Ah, oh, he's way too fast for us, huh? Well, don't keep your gun on the guy who Hold saved on. you. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. Yeah, that's Snake. Right. My name is. <laughs> My name is Pliskin. Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Yeah, I buy that. And Raiden doesn't even know who Snake is, so he's gonna believe it. Iroquois Pliskin. Yeah. Well, just because you don't have your bandana, we're supposed to believe you. How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a navy chopper. But there's some of that sea lice. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? Ooh, is it flashback time? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, nope. not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Really? Like what? Sneaking mission 60, <laughs> weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. Except it's VR. It's not well, actually for a real. Grunt at the digital age. That's just great. <laughs> That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year, a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR, and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? Oh no, that's an interesting observation.
So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Mm, more that it just right. kind of creates a on? disconnect. The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. Well, Snake's like, I've seen this before. What about the president? Looks well, like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. Yeah. Okay, but this is good. I was afraid Campbell was going to be like, well, you're going to have to shoot him. Look. And I was not about to. What the hell? A Navy captain. Hmm. Are right, you okay? Uh, Snake? You alright? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? Vampire. That blood-sucking freak. That was Vamp. See, Snake knows all about this stuff. He's Romanian. A wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. What's Dead Cell? The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the Batman edge, Fortune, but they became Vamp, more and George and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the Dead Cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. Well, I mean, you're here. That leader? says something. He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right. And he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. Why are you trying to paint yourself in you a bad light, Snake? Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. No, he's not. And buried. And now he's plus What about skin. the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment, too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Yeah. Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Aw, thanks, Snake. Take this, too. Sea Snake, you're you're a swell guy. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero. Currently at the bridge between Struts B and C. The president is. Well, time to move on. It sounds like. Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? Well, oh, no point. BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? <laughs> I need a few more. Can minutes. you handle it? Well, he's not doing well. There is that to consider. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. 
Look at him, he's taking us under his wing. Aw. Hey, what's your name? Go ahead, Raiden. Raiden. There you go. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Jack's not a bad name. I actually Maybe quite I'll like Jack. I'll find out someday. Well, now it's kind of cool playing as Raiden because there's obviously some secret deal going on with Snake that he's being all mysterious about, so I kind of quite like that. All right, we got to figure out... Where's the node? Maybe it's up the stairs and I just totally missed it and would have seen it if I just looked a little bit before backtrack. Oh no, it's right here, isn't it? Node, I would like a radar, please. Oh, much better. So, what else is up here? Ugh. Alright, what did he give me? So calm and cigarettes. May as well equip that. What is that? Well, you can't shut yourself in this one. Okay. What? And what was chirping over here when I opened it? Don't, I just wanted to grab the ration. Ration. We can get out of here. Check them all. Check them all. There you go. Hmm. Nope. Not getting in there. Okay, so this would take us back here, but there's no need to go there. We want to go to C, but I kind of want to... Shell core one. I'll take a look at that thing too. Alright. So, back here. He's sleeping. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a nap in this bloodstained room full of corpses while there's enemies all over the place. Alright. You do whatever you gotta do, Snake. Uh, let's get a save in here. Jack, is that you? Uh, who else is it gonna be? Jack, when you get home, let's have a homecoming party. Just the two of us. Ugh. Yeah. That's a good idea. Hmm. I'll make dinner. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Well, that sounds good, but how about we eat out at that one restaurant instead? You know, the place that we went to recently with the amazing lobster? I really like that place. Well, yeah, I, I guess that's okay, too. Whew. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. I just love lobster. Yeah, can't wait. Woohoo! <sighs> Well, then I'll make a reservation. She's a terrible cook, Promise huh? Me you'll come back safely. Don't worry. Oi, look at all of this. What a mess. Okay, AB, this is not where I wanted to go. I do really like those seagulls, though. I don't know why they amuse me. Happy little seagull sounds in the midst of all this. Alright, so we want to go... Over this way. This is, is this what, just a place to hide? Yeah. Well, I mean, it looks like a door, actually, but not a door that we can get through. Maybe not a door. Hmm. 
this one noisy floor we were just on. Okay, and it just goes back in there. So this is where we want to go. Um. Who are they shooting at? Okay, which ones are the bad guys and which ones are the good? That's a bad guy. Oh, is this my man Ocelot? No, that's a lady's legs. Is it Olga? Cause she made it out of the, the rack, right? Not Olga. Oh, this must be Fortune. That makes sense. Another dead cell member. Huh. What the hell is that? She's extremely fortunate. Come, put me out of my misery. I don't think we can. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Okay, so Fortune and Vamp, and then there's Fat Man somewhere too, right? Oh, that must be the president. How are you going to stop him? Ready grenades. She doesn't even care. What, does it just a end dud. up a dud? Every one of them's going to be a dud that you launch at her, isn't it? That is quite the gun she's just holding on to there one-handed. Kick it at him. It'll explode, Today won't it? Is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? Well, that is a heck of a weapon. Oh, and she blew out the bridge. Oh, we're gonna have to go back the other way, huh? She doesn't even care about this guy about to plummet to his death in front of her. I, mean, I wouldn't think she'd want to save him, but she wasn't even like, oh, I'll make sure he's dead. She was just, eh, whatever. Bye bye. <gasps> I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. They die instead of her? I really want to know more about her. Hopefully we'll get a bunch of her backstory. Yeah, call someone up, ask them about it. What's the deal with Fortune now? Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? <laughs> what is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. Yeah, but what am I going to do against these kind of enemies? We know their defensive capabilities. I don't think we Are really you do. saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. 
Thanks for putting all that on my shoulders, Roy, while sending me in here with no experience. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. Yeah. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire too, it's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. Rosa. And you, Rose, I can't believe Rose. you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Well, you couldn't really you, leave mid-mission, could you? I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? <laughs> Raiden, you're needed on Strut C. Okay, I am, but I really got, I gotta take a sec. Freaking Roy Campbell. Roy Campbell, you tricky, sneaky fella. He, he knows all about Dead Cell. He knows who they are. He knew they were gonna freaking be here. But instead of, instead of sending someone with plenty of experience, who knows about bombs, who could, you know, really get the things done and briefing us about these people who obviously have extraordinary abilities that we're up against. He's just like, now nah, we'll take this newbie riding who's never actually done a real mission. He's had plenty of VR training because I like to throw people in without actually giving them all the details of what's going on. He does. He did that to Snake in the first game, too. All this information he knows that he's not divulging, stuff that's really important to completing the mission at hand, he, but that's part of why I think I'm so resentful now that we're riding and there's Campbell in charge. Like, I know this guy is not on the up and up. Or even if he is serving the greater good, he's he's not serving us because he's always going to withhold information. He's always only going to give us what he thinks we need. And we would be way better prepared for the situation if he would just tell us what's going on. But he won't. I'd rather have Otacon, who at least I feel is like genuinely going to try and prepare me as much as possible. So, ooh, Roy Campbell. Although, honestly, I have to admit, too, it's kind of a nice touch that we're stuck with him, because it, it lets me know there's definitely a lot more going on here. But we're not going to come by the information easily. He's going to string us along as, as much as he can. All right. I am going to go ahead and wind the what episode do down you, here. Yeah. We'll do the save. I'll, I'll have the save on, because sometimes she has conversations. So in case it's important, we don't want to miss anything. All right. What you got, Rose? Hang in there. That was it? Oh my god. Okay. Well, so we'll wind the episode down here. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Come on back next time and uh, we'll head over to Strut. See, hopefully this bomb expert did indeed hang back like he said he would and hasn't been killed. If he has, like, well, what's our plan then? Ryan has said, I'm not a bomb expert. I mean, man, just suddenly... Freaking Roy Campbell. We're just going to change the mission priority. Oh, we need you to disarm all this C4. And, and you sent in a guy who doesn't even know how. Oi.